Dear students, our lecture today is the gene theory. As you know, the world today is concentrated on the use of genes in, in the medicine. We can use genes in the treatment of disease and as an instead of drugs. What genes can do? Genes which are carried on chromosomes are the basic physical and functional units of heredity. As you know, genes are coding for all biological activities in our life. The movement, the motility, all of these are controlled by genes. Genes are a specific sequence of bases that encode instructions of how to make a protein. Is the protein that we form mostly most like function and even make up the majority of cellular function. Now, why genetic disorder? When genes are altered so that the encoded protein are unable to carry out their normal functions, genetic disorder can result. As you observe here, the X linked recessive genetic defect from daughter from father to the offspring. Here, the defective genes was transferred from was transferred from father to the offspring. And the X D D means defective gene. X defective genes will be inherited here from the father to the offspring, while the defective gene X T will be inherited here from the mother to the offspring. Yeah. Now we must know that all of us here carry genes carry some defective genes. Some of them are apparent and the other are in apparent. Each of us carries about half of a dozen defective genes. We remain blissfully aware of this fact unless we all, one of our close relatives, are amongst the many millions who suffer from genetic disease. About 1 in 10 people has or will develop at some later stage an inherited genetic disorder and approximately about 2,800 specific conditions are known to be caused by defective mutation in just one of the patient's gene. Yeah. Now, all of you here now in this class inherited the genetic information from mother, from Father and mother, half of the genetic information are here to be found out, and the other half will be inherited from the mom. Now, most of us do not suffer any harmful effect from our defective genes because we carry two copies of nearly all genes, one different from our mother and one we inherited from the, our father. The only exceptions to this rule are the genes found on the male X of sex chromosomes. Males have one X and one Y chromosomes, the former from the mother and the latter from the father. So each cell has only one copy of the genes on these chromosomes. Yeah. The law of inheritance in the majority of cases one normal gene is sufficient to avoid all the symptoms of disease. Just one normal gene would be enough to avoid all symptoms of disease. If the potentially harmful gene is recessive, then its normal counterpart will carry out all the tasks assigned to us. Only if you inherited from our parents, Two copies of the same recessive gene will a disease develop. Okay. Yeah. Now, after we take all these, all of the directions, all the necessary information in this simple direction, now we must understand what does mean by gene therapy. Gene therapy is the insertion of genes into an individual cells and tissues to treat diseases such as a hereditary disease in which all deleterious mutants allele is replaced with a function 
One, although the technology is still in its infancy, it has been used with some success. What are the goals of gene therapy? First, a normal gene may be inserted into an unspecific location within the genome to replace a non-functional gene. This approach is most common. And an abnormal gene could be swapped for a normal gene through homologous combination. And the abnormal gene could be repaired to select a perverse mutation which returns the gene to its normal to its normal state, to its normal function. And the fourth goal of gene therapy, the operation, the degree of which a gene is turned on or off of a particular gene could be altered. Yes. Now, what are the uses of gene therapy in medicine? We must understand when and where we can use genes in medicine. First, replace missing or defective gene. When I have a defective or missing gene in a specific location, we can use gene therapy to replace missing or defective gene. Second, to deliver genes that speed the destruction of cancer or tumor cancer cells. Also, to supply genes that cause cancer cells to revert back to the normal cells. Thus, when we ask some patients when the stage of cancer, when, when, where the stage of cancer is happening, thus if the normal cells we, we, the tumor genesis theory starts from conversion of normal cells to transform stage, transform stage, and from transform stage to the malignant stage. If the patient in the first stage from normal to transform the stage, this stage is reversible. That means what? That means we, the patient, can repair to the original state. But if the patient from the stage from transform to tumor to malignant cells, in this stage it is irreversible. That means what? That, that means the malignancy will not be repaired to the original stage. The patient cannot repair to the original stage, and it's so difficult to do. Okay? Thus, at la la la, deliver. Bacterial or viral genes as form of infection, as a form of vaccination. Deliver bacterial or viral genes as a form of vaccination. And to provide genes that promote or impact the growth of new tissue and to deliver genes that stimulate the healing of damaged tissue. Yes. How it works? How it works? A factor deliver the therapeutic gene into a patient target cells and the target cells become infected with the viral factor. After that, the factor genetic material is inserted into the target cells and the functional protein activated from therapeutic gene causing uh, the cell to turn to a normal state. Yes. Gene therapy is experimental. Advances in understanding and manipulating genes have set the stage for scientists to enter a person's genetic material to fight or prevent disease. Gene therapy is an experimental treatment that involves introdu introducing genetic material, DNA or RNA, into a person's cells to fight disease. The majority are right here. As you show in this figure, gene therapy of cancer. Gene therapy is being studied in clinical trials, research studies with people for many different types of cancer and for other diseases. It is not currently available outside of clinical trials. Thus, in this case, the basic ultravirus and the introduction of effective gene to the gene here, ultravirus carry normal human gene and the cancer cell in capture infected with ultravirus. As you show here, the ultravirus attack cancer cells 
and lymphocyte enter cancer cells to be called cancer cells. Here, the cancer cells will be break down. My, that's due to what? That's due to gene therapy. Gene therapy, vivo versus vitro. Vivo to vitro. In ex vivo gene therapy, as we show here, current vector with therapeutic gene and combined with whole cells in vitro in the lab. After that, after making the enge genetic engineering for the host cells, the engineered cells containing here therapeutic gene. Now, the already engineering cells containing therapeutic gene will be injected in the femur of the patient severing from what? For, from defective gene. Why? In vivo, the targetable injectable factor will be introduced in the arm of the patient as a vivo or as an vivo gene therapy. That is represents ex vivo gene therapy in addition to in vivo gene therapy. Vivo to vitro gene therapy. What gene therapy can achieve? Replacing a mutated gene that causes disease with a healthy copy of gene and activating all knocking out mutated gene that is functioning improperly and introducing a new gene to the body to help a fire disease. Now, genes are necessary. It's very important talk here. Gene therapy is the use of gene as medicine. Is the use of gene? Is the use of genes as medicine? It involves the transfer of a therapeutic or working gene copy into specific cell of an individual in order to repair a faulty gene copy. Plus, it may be used to replace a faulty gene or to introduce a new gene whose function is to cure or to further modify the clinical cause of condition. The steps in gene therapy is being graduated from DNA to gene encapsulated in adenovirus here and in vivo gene therapy in the arm of patients, adenovirus this gene into the cells and the target cells here will be uh, expressed, target cells here will be uh, containing here therapeutic gene. After that, the therapeutic gene will give him a functional protein in the speed of dysfunctional protein. And in the speed of dysfunctional protein. The cause here is how to replace dysfunctional protein, how to study the, the continuous release of dysfunctional protein and creation a functional protein. Here, functional protein, coded by functional gene, will give a healthy property, healthy characters of the life. Yeah. Okay. Now, here in this schematic representation, how viral factor particles are produced by engineer producer cells. After producer cells, here viral gene therapy and overview uh, producer cells. Here factor particles carry therapeutic gene and deliver them to the target cells. The therapeutic protein may act inside or outside the cells and the in some applications these components of insert the gene into the chromosome of the target cells as you show here. Yeah. What are the manipulation correct? How manipulation correct? The defective genes. How correction will occur? Now, as you are here, as you show here, sorry, in vitro manipulation, this represents the dysfunctional gene. And this functional gene, gene, this functional gene will be self-replication. Self-replication to corrected cells. Here, the functional or therapeutic gene 
will be introduced nearby to what to this functional gene here. Each cell containing this functional and functional gene. This functional is labeled by green color here, while the functional is encoded by red color here. Okay. The corrected cell now will be proliferated and viral vector will be released and here is a viral factor therapeutic gene at other meaning viral factor or therapeutic gene will be introduced as therapeutic gene neighboring to the neighboring to the uh, dysfunctional gene and here the corrected cells gene therapy I repeat this very important sentence this therapy is the insertion or introduction the therapeutic gene in the of none of this functional gene to create functional protein that will provide me the healthy characteristics. Now, after we will understand gene therapy, now, who does it by anti sense therapy? Tell me, do you have any questions regarding what I said here? Okay. Now, what does it mean by anti sense therapy? Anti-cell therapy is a form of a treatment for a genetic disorder or infection. When the genetic sequence of a particular gene is known to be causative of particular disease, it's possible to synthesize a strain of nucleic acid DNA or RNA or chemical analog that will be bound to the messenger RNA produced by the gene and inactivate it effectively, turning the gene off, as you saw here. Now, the normal process, it the mRNA will be migrated in normal process, normal process of protein synthesis. The mRNA will be transferred from the nucleus to the cytoplasm, and here the mRNA as anticodon, as codon, anticodon here, and will be going to the ribosome, to the site of protein synthesis. In anti sense therapy, in anti sense therapy, the certain sequences will be bound to the antisense here and stopping the passage of messenger RNA to be going to the what to the ribosome to pass to synthesize protein. In this stage, the process will be stopped. Therapeutic sequences will bind to the anti sense here would bind to the codon with the sequences on the tRNA and prevent mRNA from going to the ribosome to synthesize the protein. Yeah. And the sense therapy is not a striking a form of gene therapy. It's not a form of gene therapy. But it's genetically mediated therapy and is often considered together with other methods. Okay. Now, gene therapy depends on the delivery of corrected genes. Viral factors. Viral factors. Viral factors are tools commonly used by molecular biologists to deliver genetic material into cells. This process can be performed inside a living organism in vivo or in cell culture in vitro. Viruses have evolved specialized molecular mechanisms to efficiently transfer the genome inside the cell and then infect. Viruses are used as a delivery tools. Viruses are used as vectors to introduce the genetic material inside the bodies. These viruses are inactivated. They are not able to reproduce. They are not, they are not able to reproduce. It's genetically engineered like adenovirus, virus that's one from DNA tumor virus, virus is one of RNA tumor viruses. Somatic and germ line therapy. Now, in the world, the, the researchers will be going now to the to somatic and germ line gene therapy. And gene therapy can target somatic body on germ, egg, and sperm. Cells. In somatic gene therapy, the patient's genome is changed, but the change is not passed to the next generation. 
whereas the germline gene theory, the newly introduced gene is based on theory of sequence. Now, the world is mainly thought of how to create the 42nd chromosome. Researchers are also experimental with introducing a 42nd artificial chromosome to the body. It would exist autonomously alongside of the other 46, not overlying not affecting their working or causing any tensions. It would be large factor capable of carrying substantial amounts of genetic information and the body's immune system would not attack it. Low interfere in gene therapy and the, this characteristic model, our hair level would be interfused in gene therapy. So no, that is Enough. If you have any question, I am ready to answer. Yes. Yeah. The gene therapy is used as medicine now. The gene are used as medicine. I think with the passage of time, this line of treatment will be going to be in the fairs of the list of the IT Okay. Thank you very much for listening to my lecture. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Thank you.